welcome to my channel. My name is Yaklyn Cisneros, and today I'm gonna review the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I've heard a lot of good things about this foundation, so I went ahead and purchased it myself. See what it's all about. Um, this is gonna be a first impression as well as a review. I will be putting this on, and I will let you know what I think of it as a first impression, and then I'm gonna wear it throughout the day, and I'll let you know what I think of it by the end of the day. Now, this foundation says that 100% of people said that this foundation blurred their imperfections. As you guys can see, I do have some redness. I have a few pimples here. Um, so hopefully that will get a blur, correct? 98% um, said this foundation made their skin look absolutely perfect. So I better see my my face looking perfect right well, i don't know and 97 percent said this foundation provided natural coverage i do love the natural look um i don't like to show or i don't like it to look like i have a lot of makeup on so hopefully this should make it seem as if i don't have a lot of makeup on so all right this is gonna be a talk through video so it's, it's gonna be a lot talking so just be aware that i'm gonna go ahead and put my hair out my face because you know i gotta get a nice palette here all right so the brush i'm gonna use which might affect a lot of it i'm gonna use this real techniques um foundation brush um so here i go warm beige so what i typically do is just pump a little bit of foundation right here usually three dots that's what i do um so now i'm gonna just tap it on one of my cheeks and anywhere i would like the coverage to be oh, right there that pimple don't you guys hate it when like it's that time of the month and like all of a sudden your face looks start looking ugly well not ugly but just more redness and stuff like it just annoys me but anyway so now i'm just gonna start rubbing in the foundation i do see that the redness is going away which is really good um let's see here okay hold on i'm probably in the light will look better it is covering a lot of the redness now as far as the foundation itself um i don't know if this is the color for me maybe i was I got the wrong foundation but it makes it looks like i'm a little pale might not you know or is it just me i don't know but um so as of right now um you can see a lot of my pimples still is very visible i don't think this foundation um says that it will reduce your pores or reduce the look of pores um and it sure makes my pores visible um, as you guys can see, you can tell that I do have pores there, um, even with the foundation on. So, so far, um, wait, let me put some more on this side. Sorry, guys. By the way, I'm doing this in the car just because this is only, like, peaceful place I can do it in. My house is, like, always, there's always noise going on. There's always something happening. So, um, let's see, a little bit, one more. Alright, let's put some on this side here. Um, maybe if I put a little more on this pimple, let me try to take the pimple out, you know? I'm on my nose. Maybe the brush may be affecting the foundation as well. Um, so, let me get um, this beauty blender I have here. Did I bring it? Sorry guys, I'm all over the place. Ah, I don't have it with me. It's okay, we'll just kind of pat it down. So I'm gonna let this set for a little bit and uh, maybe that'll make a difference. Um, I'll get back to you really quickly, really soon, just to let you know what I think. The foundation settled in for a little bit. As you can see, it is pretty good at covering the redness and my pimple is still a little bit noticeable, but it's okay. The only thing is that if you look closely, it is very, it's very apparent that you can see my pores so um that's the only thing you can tell that i'm wearing foundation i don't think it gives it that natural look unless i like 
you know, put my camera a certain angle. But, you know, that's not the point. The point is to make it look natural in any angle, you know? And I feel like you can tell I'm wearing foundation. So, um, I mean, now I'm going to go ahead and just wear it throughout the day. See how long it lasts. Um, see if, um, if anything else, um, changes. Maybe I just didn't let it settle all that long. Uh, I'll get back to you guys and let you know what my final thoughts on this foundation is. Now, my final thoughts on this product, it did work for the first five, six hours, but I did sweat a lot. And so this is not a foundation that will stay on your face for long. I also, um, I also experienced dryness. Um, so there must be something in the foundation that, um, did not work for my, I did experience some oil in certain places. So it, it did not help my skin and it's just not, uh, foundation overall I would recommend um, now there is many factors to the foundation you know maybe I didn't use the right brush maybe I should have put some uh, like a primer beforehand um, a lot of other items to or a lot of other factors to to have considered so in that in that sense um, could have had a different outlook but but yeah guys well um thank you for watching my channel if you guys want me to review anything else just let me know all right guys thanks bye